Race for impact. Three, two, one. <laughs> 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 Welcome back to another episode of Las Vegas and Beyond. Today I am joined by Ted, which we'll show in a few seconds. We are at the Rio. We are checking out the Star Trek convention. Been coming to the Star Trek convention since I uh, moved to Vegas. So it's always been fun. How many times is this for Star Trek? I want to say it's my fifth convention. This is going to be my very first Star Trek convention. <laughs> This year's convention ran from Wednesday, August 11th through Sunday, August 15th. Ticket prices for the entire convention started as low as $330 and went up to $1,300. Ted and I purchased a single day general admission ticket through Groupon for $33. Normally that same ticket sold for $65. So just checked in, had to go to our Groupon line, and uh, also had to show proof of vaccination, along with your driver's license or proof of ID, to get into this convention. So it's kind of interesting how conventions are going right now, at least for this one. But if you've been to it already, let me know what the process was like. What do you think of the process, Ted? Uh, it's a little different than last year, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. So here we are on the red carpet. First time for me. Ted, are you ready? Super ready. Someone came up to me and recognized me. And your name? Is Rhonda Durr. You're at the Star Trek convention. <laughs> I am, and you are too. <laughs> yes, I came all the way from Chicago. Wow, big fan. Big fan, yes. Been going to conventions for a long time. How many times have you been to Star Trek conventions? Star Trek conventions, uh, more times than I can count. That's uh, awesome. Yeah, Vegas here. I've been coming since 2013. Well, gosh, well, thanks for stopping me and saying hi. I appreciate it. Well, thanks for being here and thanks for putting us on YouTube. I've been searching my whole life for a Vulcan. Me? <laughs> <laughs> so my name is Joni Brosis. Um, I've been coming to this Star Trek convention 11 years now. Wow. Yeah, this was my first convention ever. Um, it was in San Francisco though. And then I just started going to the Star Trek convention in Las Vegas. Now I'm here and I work on stage and frame the door. That's, <laughs> <me>. <laughs> That's what I do. That's awesome. Well, thanks for taking the time to say hi. I appreciate it. Of course. Thank you. I love your outfit. Thank you. Live long and prosper. <laughs> Live long and prosper. I think you need those slippers. I, I kind of want them. I want I know. them. Yeah. <laughs> Ed pulled the trigger. Yeah, I had to get them. <laughs> so this whole area behind me is set aside for the autographs. But yeah, this is the place. I think Ted said he's somewhere here. So let's go see if we can find Ted getting an autograph. Now you can get personalized autograph photos of the Star Trek specific celebrities, including selfies, but those prices range anywhere from $10 up to $125, depending on the celebrity. Looking at the photo op boards, there was about a 15% celebrity cancellation, and that was just as of the first day. Be sure to watch Ted's video. I'm gonna put a link to it. He did an interview with Athena Massey, who I remember from some of her shows like in Nash Bridges, Seinfeld, Voyager, but I think I'm going to go ahead and interview someone. In fact, I'm going to go interview Tara Rosling. So Tara, what was it like to be on... Oh, there's no one here. If you watch They Live, then you will get that reference to what just happened. It's a great movie, one of my favorites. These 
are rainbow tribbles, the first gay tribbles in the galaxy. And they come to you only from Gaze in Space. Doesn't she look like Jerry Ryan? This is amazing. I guess we're Twinkies. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. No problem. <laughs> Jimmy's Place is named for the actor James Doohan, who played Scotty in the original Star Trek series. Now this place is just a hangout where you can grab some food, relax, and hook up with other attendees. Get a snack? Some a drink. Galactic food with out-of-the-world prices. <laughs> so far, I'm having a really good time here at the Star Trek convention. Now, this is my first convention in a long, long time, probably over 15 to 20 years. So I'm kind of in awe of everything, and you can tell because I'm forgetting to film stuff. In addition to the exhibit hall, there's also an exhibit gallery, which has some of Leonard Nimoy's photographs and other art pieces. I made it to the bridge of the Enterprise. Hey Ted, so what did you think? It's a lot different this year, a little bit smaller, but I'm thinking about coming back Saturday. Should be a lot better during the weekend. All right, Beyonders, well that will do it for this video. I didn't know what to expect. This is my first Star Trek convention. If you've been to one, leave me a comment down below. I appreciate you watching, so be sure to give this video a like. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button down below and ring the bell icon. That way you'll be notified when I upload new content. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. yet. Ted and I ran out to uh, grab a quick bite. Now we're back because we came to see the Roddenberries play. They're a musical band that's a tribute band. So let's go check them out. Hey. We are Roddenberries in a few moments. We're going to hit you with a face full of science fiction fantasy. We're gonna rock you off with disco music. We're gonna play the music of Star Trek. We're also gonna play the music of Star Wars. Fuck you, you don't like it. That's right. It's a free show. All the profanity in the world.
My name is Craig Spurrier. I'm with Wines That Rock. We produce the wines for Star Trek Wines. We've been uh, working with Star Trek now for about four years. This is our third uh, varietal release of wines, which includes the Duet, which is the Cardassian Canard red wine blend. And we have the United Federation of the Planet uh, Blue, uh, Andorian Blue Chardonnay. We've been working with Star Trek for about three years, creating this bottle. Uh, we had to produce this bottle in southern Italy using the mold from the original series, as well as the show prop stopper. We created this unique stopper to complement the serpentine bottle. And how can we get these? So you can get them all on StarTrekWines.com. And we are here now to promote our new documentary, 1982, where we talk about uh, the greatest geek year ever, which was 1982. Uh, we had uh, Rafa Khan, the Thane, Blade Runner, all sorts of great movies came out that year. And so we're working on that right now. We've um, interviewed, I think, over 50 people uh, and are currently running an Indiegogo to uh, help us finish off some of the post costs. Scan that, but uh, that'll take you to our new Indiegogo campaign. Hey, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very Appreciate much, it. sir.